Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we are here at Ball and Wallace University, and we are talking today with John Lanigan, the director of the Center for Innovation and Growth. John, thanks so much for talking with us. Thomas, great to have you here. Talk about what you guys do here at the Center for Innovation and Growth. It's been here about, what, five, six, seven years here? It's about a six-year-old program now. So what, uh, what do you guys do here? Because you work with all the students, don't you? Not just business students. Yeah, what's great about our program, Thomas, is that we are open to every major on campus. And really what we're trying to do is to give the students an opportunity to learn about their passions, to grow their creativity and innovation skills, maybe even leading to entrepreneurship, but doing it in an ethical way with a lot of integrity. So this idea of entrepreneurship, and we've talked here before with other departments, it's, it's really embedded in the culture here at Ball & Wallace, isn't it? It's very intentional. We're, we're working very hard around the campus to get students to understand that in many ways they've got to make their own way in the world, whether they go to work for a big company or a nonprofit or an educational institution. Everybody is looking for those innovation skills. They want change agents to come into their organizations, and that's what we're trying to infuse in our students here at Baldwin Wallace. If it's not entrepreneurs starting their own businesses, doing their own thing, it's intrapreneurs, right, that are inside a business and, and still given a project and saying, run with this thing. Absolutely. In, in fact, if you look at the impact that a student could have going into a major corporation, it, it can be amazing because there are so many employees, so many customers of those companies. If they can come up with a new idea, a new product or something, it can have an immense impact at an early stage in their career. Speaking of big companies, you just retired sort of out of a, a pretty large company out of a railroad. Talk about that. That must have been exciting. Yeah, I worked for the last 10 years for the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad, headquartered in Texas. It's the largest freight railroad company in the country, and we were owned for the last three years of the time, my time there by Warren Buffett. Now, what, was entrepreneurship uh, encouraged there? I, I, I imagine it, it would be, even though it's a large corporation, very, very large corporation. Very large, 40,000 employees, $20 billion in revenue, and yes, we had a strong entrepreneurship program. In fact, in my last couple of years, we had a group that uh, was about three or four of our younger managers that had this idea to start moving oil out of the shale fields in North Dakota because there was no pipeline, and in three years, that went from nothing to a billion-dollar-a-year business. So these students that are here, they're going to be asked to do a lot of really creative and innovative things. Talk, first, talk about where the students come from. I think it's interesting that, that they're not just out of the business program here. They're from all the departments. Absolutely. Uh, we're open to every department, every major. And if you talk to the eight students that are with us for the summer, they're from seven different majors, I believe. And so what's great about that is that they bring the knowledge that they're getting in the classroom and they're cross-pollinating while they're learning some of the skills that we're giving them, like presentation skills, analytical skills, research skills, interviewing skills, things along those lines. And they're working on some really neat projects this summer. They have three projects that they're working on, two for companies and one for a nonprofit organization. So, and you're, you're bringing in faculty as well from all the different departments here. You don't have a huge faculty in innovation and growth. You're sort of putting a multidisciplinary program together for the students. Yeah, we have a very small st permanent staff here at SIG, and we get professors from around the campus to come in and help us and, and provide some of the training for the students and some of the background and also some of that commitment that it's really a campus-wide initiative. And talk about ethics. I think it's interesting that the first thing you, you go over with these students, the first couple of weeks, is, is around uh, ethics. It's actually more than the first couple of weeks. It's for a, a majority of the first semester of the regular school year because one of the things we want to make sure that the students understand is that you can be creative, you can be innovative, you could start your own company, but if you do it in an honest and ethical and values-based way, one, people will follow you because they'll, they'll grab onto that. But secondly, you can be successful and do it the right way to benefit not only yourself but to the people that work for you, the people in your community, and people that you touch all over the region that you're working in. It's really capitalism has spun a little out of control lately, and it's expected now, isn't it, that, that people address business in a little different way than they did in the 50s or the 60s? I, I think so because things are so transparent now uh, with the Internet, with just social media, if you stumble, people are going to know about it almost immediately. And so I, I think people have to be even more cautious, more careful, but more importantly, if it becomes part of who they are, then they don't have to worry about it. They can move forward, create, innovate, create jobs, create new products, and do it the right way. 
Talk about Blackstone Launchpad. This is a, a new program that's uh, become embedded here at Ball Wallace. Blackstone Launchpad has been around for about a year now, and it is part of the Center for Innovation and Growth, and it's that next step. Once we take the students through the innovation and creativity part of what's going on, then if they've got that burning idea or that burning desire to start a business, to develop a new product, then we have the Blackstone Launchpad, which will work with them to get that product launched or that business launched. That's fabulous. John, thank you so much for taking time. I'm so glad you didn't retire. Ended up over here at Ball and Wallace. Thank you for, for taking time out of your summer program here. Thanks, Tom. It's great to have you here at BW. Thank you. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.